In this video, we're going to talk about the Cisco Wireless Phone 840 and 860 working in conjunction with Microsoft Intune. So the 840 and 860 run a customized version of Android, and some administrators will want to use Microsoft Intune. So the first thing we do in Microsoft Intune is go to Devices. We choose Android, and then we would choose Android Enrollment. From there, we will go to the Manage Google Play and basically link a Google Play account for the purposes of allowing a few apps on the device. So I will check this box and then it will launch a little applet so that I can connect up to Google Play. So I would sign in with a Google account and then I would proceed to enter some business details information and then I would go ahead and click Next and then fill out some more information and click Next again. So next we're going to choose corporate owned dedicated devices and we're going to create a profile. So we'll give it a name and we will choose a token type. So this will be a corporate owned dedicated device and then we will also choose a token expiration date and we click next and then we will create the profile now if I select the profile that I just created I can actually look at the token and if you show the token you will see the QR code that we will eventually scan later on in this video by the Cisco wireless 800 series next we will go to groups we will create a new group this will be a security group. We will give the group a name. I'll call it Cisco. And then the membership type will be dynamic device. We will also configure the dynamic device membership rules. And here we will configure the rules. So here I'm going to choose the enrollment profile name for the property. The operator I'm going to choose match. And then the value I'm going to choose as Cisco. Now I'll go ahead and save this and then we will create this rule. And now if I click refresh, I will be able to see that this group has been created. Next we're going to choose apps, Android, and we're going to add some Android apps. So the following apps are actually built in on the device, but we can have them updated from Google Play. So I'm going to choose the app type as managed Google Play app and then I will click select. So I'm gonna search the Google Play Store for Cisco and we're gonna look for an application called Battery Life. So I'm gonna scroll down here until we find it. So I'll go ahead and select that and then after I've done that I will choose See More and then we can see related applications. And then here we're going to scroll down until we see all of these apps that are in dark blue and basically select them all. We will then choose synchronize and then refresh and then we will see all of the applications listed there. And then the other thing we have to do is when we select the app we go into properties and we will assign this app to our group Cisco. So I simply click edit and then I would choose add group and then I would select the group Cisco and then click select. Now I'll go ahead and review that and then save. And I would repeat that for all of the apps that we want from the Google Play Store. Now we need to create a configuration policy for these applications. So we would click Add, Manage Devices, and we would give it a name to match the respective application. So in this case, Emergency. This is a Android Enterprise. It's going to be Fully Managed, Dedicated, Corporate-Owned Work Profile. And then I select the Emergency app in this case and click OK. And the reason why we want to do this 
is so that we can customize this app to meet our requirements. So I'm going to choose the Use Configuration Designer. And what I'm going to do is click Add. And then here it's going to pull up the JSON schema. And then I will basically select all of these and then click OK. And then this is where I can actually configure the parameter. So why do we need to do this? So that we can say enable this by default so that the end user doesn't have to change anything. And then I can adjust these parameters to meet the requirements. So for example, do I want the panic button triggered by a long press? Do I want a panic button silent alarm? So on and so forth. And then after I finished customizing this, I would then click Next. I would then apply this to the group Cisco that I created. And then finally, I would repeat this process for all of the apps that we have selected from the Google Play. The next thing I need to do is explicitly allow the built-in apps that are not located on Google Play. And so I create an app type called Android Enterprise Systems App. And then I click Select. And then what we're going to do is look at our wireless deployment guide. And in the wireless phone 840 and 860 deployment guide, we have specified the package name. So com.cisco.phone, that's the phone app. So what we'll do is we'll call it com.cisco.phone. We'll say the publisher is Cisco. We'll provide the package name, com.cisco.phone. And then we would then add that to our group, which would be Cisco, and then select that. Then we click Next. And then we basically repeat this process and allow all of the apps that are located in the wireless deployment guide. And when we have completed, it should resemble something like this, where you can see we have the com.cisco.app URL, com.cisco.diagnostics, etc. And now our final step is to create a compliance policy. So we go to Devices, Compliance Policies, and now we will create one. So I click Create Policy. I then choose the Android Enterprise. Profile type is fully managed, dedicated, corporate owned. I then give it a name, and then I click Next. And then we can basically skip these default settings unless you wish to alter them. And we will take the defaults for this one as well. And then we add group and we add the previous group Cisco that we created. And then we click next and then create. And at this point, we will go back to our devices, Android. We'll go to Android enrollment and we will scroll down and select the corporate owned dedicated devices and then we will select our Cisco wireless 800 series and then we will select token and then show the token and now we will apply this in the demonstration coming up. So this is the screen when you factory reset it so now I'm going to click this six times and this will allow me to enter the QR code screen. Now I will scan the QR code that my administrator provided. Stand by. And it basically says this device belongs to your organization. I'll click Next. Accept. Click Next. I click Next again to accept the Google services. And now it has completed the first part of the setup and it is still working on processing the rules that the Microsoft Intune has provided. Let's just give this a second.
so my device has booted and it has registered and if I swipe up you can see that I have all of the approved applications we can also see there's an Intune icon and for example the emergency you can see the panic button is enabled the panic button would be grayed out had we not done what we had enabled and you can see other things like the battery is enabled so that is the overview thank you